Moving on from left hand positioning itself and ensuring that we don't position the club too high in the palm on the left hand for a right handed golfer, I'd just now like to talk about the options available in terms of overall grip positionings. Number one, we know that if we position the butt end of the club underneath the fleshy heel pad like this here, what that promotes is for the thumb on the, on the, the left hand here to position itself just off the right centre of the grip itself. And hopefully what you can see here, I've drawn a, a blue line extending up from this V shape here. Okay. In correct hand positioning, this V should point up pretty much to the right shoulder. And that's what we would deem to be a fairly neutral grip position for the left hand. I've also circled these two knuckles on the back of the left hand because when I look down towards the grip, I should be able to see these two knuckles on the back of the left hand. What we don't want is this palmy weak grip where I can only just about make out one knuckle and the V is pointing up more to the sternum. Really important to get this coming over so the V should point up to the right shoulder here and then when it comes to connecting and joining the hands together the most important thing is to create a unit. The hands are the only part of the anatomy that touch the golf club so whatever the hands are doing the club face re reacts to. Personally I prefer advocating the overlap or the Varden grip where this little pinky, the little finger on the right hand just sits on top here of the index finger. Almost if you picture this is a cliff finger just sits on the cliff face and then these three fingers come around on top and when I set up now you can see both these lines, this V and this V here are parallel to one another running up to the right shoulder. I'd say that's the most common grip out on professional tours worldwide. You also have the option of the interlocking grip which was used by the great Jack Nicklaus and of course Tiger Woods. Tends to be more preferable for golfers with slightly smaller hands and the third option is the ten finger or baseball grip like this here. Personally I'm not a huge fan of the baseball grip because I think it provides the option for too much movement and in golf the more we can reduce the moving parts the better. So in terms of the options I tend to opt for the overlapping grip which is the Varden grip like so here. Great connection on the club and able to really work the club through the various positions.